Junior doctor strike in Kolkata has entered its second week. After six days of striking, the junior doctors who'd been protesting after a colleague at a government hospital was brutally assaulted by the family of a patient who died, on Sunday, finally, they said that they are ready to have talks with the government. After conciliatory chief minister, Mamta Banerjee, uh, on Saturday, said that she accepts all the demands of the protesting doctors. These junior doctors accepted her olive branch and agreed to begin in talks with conditions. The condition is, according to them, in order to maintain transparency, this meeting should not be behind closed doors, but should take place under camera coverage. Let's go across uh, to uh, Moni Deepa. Moni, first and foremost, what is the situation on the ground? It is now the second week of doctors being on strike, and I can only imagine what it's like for anybody in the state there who has a loved one who is unwell. So a harrowing time for patients on the ground there. But is there finally some light at the end of this tunnel? Because we are now reporting that these junior doctors, protesting doctors, will finally actually be meeting with the chief minister this afternoon. Yes, indeed, that is the good news. Earlier this morning, uh, the junior doctors said that we are only reading in the newspapers that we have been called to talks, but we have not got a letter from the government. How that should happen is hard to imagine, but that's what happened. No letter, no formal invitation had come from the government to the junior doctors to come for talks. But a short while ago, just about half an hour to 20 minutes ago, uh, the junior doctors have received a letter from the Director of Medical Education inviting them to talks. Uh, two representatives from 14 medical colleges across West Bengal have been asked to come in to Nobano, which is the State Secretariat, and there at the auditorium they will meet with the Chief Minister at 3 p.m. There is still a thorny issue and while I speak I will let the camera person go show you pictures of the junior doctors who are still sitting and waiting for the talks to begin and uh, you know uh, uh, some results should emerge but basically uh, the doctors have now said that they will go for the talks uh, there was a question mark over whether the talks should be held in the presence of the media that's what the junior doctors wanted but uh, chief minister Mamta Banerjee and the government have said no media please but there will be independent uh, government placed cameras and a recording of the meeting will be given to the junior doctors. That is the assurance they have apparently got and therefore uh, the talks are going to happen. What the talks will throw up at the end of perhaps a couple of hours of meeting, we'll have to wait and see because the junior doctors have a long list of demands, uh, whether the chief minister agrees to meet them, whether the government can actually meet them. Uh, these are, of course, questions like, for instance, armed guards, armed police personnel uh, at government hospital premises. Uh, is that uh, realistically possible? Uh, will that be effective? And then there is more. There's a broader set of demands which you know, say that security for doctors must be strengthened uh, and so on. So these uh, demands will be examined and hopefully there will be some kind of resolution. It is so painful to see so many patients, even today, they are walking into the hospitals across the city, across the state and, you know, hitting a dead end. There are emergency services that are running, there's no question about that. They have been running since day one. But the outpatient departments where patients from far and wide come in for treatment, uh, those services are just not there, whether it's for an eye infection or a child with some kind of a horrific uh, ailment or just a short while ago we saw an 80 year old being trolleyed out of the hospital and on his chest uh, was a was a pacemaker virtually hanging out apparently the pacemaker had come off because of an infection the old man was to be admitted to this hospital today but when he came in he was told by doctors at the emergency that look this is not such a good idea because our OTs are not functioning and it's at your own risk that we will be keeping you at the hospital if you like the family said what do we do how can we just leave our patient here in such uncertain conditions and they left and they left complaining of unwarrantedly rude behavior by the doctors and said you know because of a few doctors the entire community is getting a bad name 
they don't deserve it. They need justice for the injury that was bestowed on this young doctor, Puri Baho uh, Mukherjee, on the night of the 7th of June. Completely unacceptable that doctors should be attacked like this. And the attack on the 10th of January was almost like planned attack. It was dreadful. It has been condemned roundly. But after seven days of no health service whatsoever, time to somehow come to the negotiating table and find a solution.